All right, I see Haitians and Jamaicans are beefing online right now. We're never going to get to the bottom of this until we discuss what really caused this beef. Now, before I go on, I got to say I love my Jamaican people. I'm going to always be 10 toes down for Haiti, don't get me wrong, but I love my cousins. See, there's two people in this world that I don't want cursing me out. That's a Haitian and a Jamaican. The two of those people's mouths so filthy, every word that come out their mouth feel like a freaking stab in the heart. And then when the Jamaicans hit you with all them type of clots... <laughs> But let's get down to business. See, Jamaica's been holding resentment against Haiti for a very long time. And it's because we sent this bitch their way. This is Annie Palmer, also known as the White Witch of Rose Hall or the White Witch of Jamaica. So Annie's from a rich white family in Haiti, and she was very close to her nanny. Her parents died of disease or whatever, so she ends up being raised by this mixed-race Haitian woman, basically her nanny. So according to legends, this is when this woman started becoming an expert at voodoo. So fast forward to adulthood, she moves to Jamaica because, you know, it's a British colony. She wants a rich man, whatever. So she's so good at what she does, she ends up becoming the wife of one of the most profitable plantation owners in Jamaica at the time. This is the Rose Hall estate that she ended up owning. She ends up killing her first husband, getting control of the estate, remarrying, taking more money and plantations. This woman was out of control. Meanwhile, she had a real fetish for black slaves. She would have multiple relationships with slaves in this house right here. Also making a name for herself because she was also so cruel to the slaves. Her jealousy would cause her to kill female slaves if she thought that they were being pursued by those slaves. All in all, all the wickedness that she was doing, she became known as the Witch of Rose Hall. So later on, she later get got by another man who know Obia. They both die. And it's said that her spirit and all the people that she killed are still haunting this place right here. It's actually one of the top tourist destinations in Montego Bay. So Jamaica, on behalf of the Haitian delegation, I would like to apologize. We don't claim her. But on a serious note, we're brothers and sisters. This fight is stupid. Let's do more productive things. Like you show us how to do oxtail and we'll show you how to make some rice. Family, before we start today's video, I'd like to put a disclaimer. It's important to know that these tensions do not represent the views of all Jamaicans and people from Haiti. Many individuals from both nations coexist peacefully and have positive relationships. However, addressing these underlying issues through dialogue and mutual understanding can help elevate any existing tensions. So let's roll into today's video, guy. Family, Jamaica and Haiti are two Caribbean countries. They all have different history, but they are both countries predominantly black. So um, online, there's been a lot, a lot of... Um, fights between um, people from Haiti and people from Jamaica and um, according to our brother he feels like this um, hatred did not start the other day he feels like it's something of the past and um, he gives us this legendary story of Annie Palmer and um, he, he mentions that Annie Palmer was raised as a young white lady in Haiti and um, both of her parents died and um, the one who took care of her, um, taught her voodoo and um, evil worship kind of things. And um, she moved um, to Jamaica and moved um, to, to uh, this famous, famous house, the Rose Hall Plantation, where she met um, the love of her life, who's, um, the actual, who's named as John Palmer, you know? And when he met this guy, um, he treat, she treated her badly um, she bewitched her and um, she bewitched him and later killed him. And um, she started having this fetish for young black men who were slaves at the time. And um, he used to take them, um, use them in bed, that is, sexually. Then once she's done with them, she'd kill them one at a time. And then later, after doing this for a little bit while, she met... Um, this this um, black young man who also practiced witchcraft, and um, it said that um, the man killed Annie Palmer through witchcraft and also through physical violence. And um, according to this guy, this is one of the reasons as to why this is where uh, the 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 hate is rooted in between Jamaica and um, Haiti. I went on to do more research just to understand where this hatred or rather the beef comes from between these two Caribbean countries. And here is what I found out through my research. And um, 
there is a lot of tension between Jamaicans and Haitians, um, often, to add, uh, often referred to as a beef, um, because this stems from a mix of historical, social and cultural factors, rather than a single specific event. Here are some key elements that contribute to the friction between these two countries. So, um, the one I just mentioned is a legendary story that um, is just but an event, but now there are a lot, a lot of um, references that probably could help us get to understand why these two nations do really have a beef towards each other. We've seen it online, so let's do this. So one of the, one of the reasons could be um, a cultural difference. Although both countries are in the Caribbean, they have distinct cultures, languages and traditions. Jamaica predominantly speaks English. You all know Jamaica uh, was colonized um, by the Brits, so there's a lot of English in Jamaica. They predominantly speak English and has a culture heavily influenced by the British colonial history. Whereas Haiti speaks Haitian Creole and French with a culture deeply rooted in its history as the as, as um, the first independent black republic in the world you know the people from haiti take this with a lot of pride they were the first independent black nation in the world they gained independence first so they have a lot of uh, pride when it comes to that and this could be some of these issues that they do take pride with so heavily then um, there's another point, which is the immigration and economic competition. Haiti, Haitians have migrated to Jamaica in search for better opportunities. This has sometimes led to tension over job competition and of economic resources and social services. So most of people from Haiti are moving to Jamaica because of economic opportunities. And um, Jamaicans could be some of them could not be happy because now they are flocking the job market and um, Jamaicans are struggling to get opportunities in their own country. So this could, be, could bring uh, a little bit of friction between the two nations. Jamaica might perceive Haiti as competitors for limited resources which can breed resentment. A normal person can just... It's normal for you to bring resentment when um, people flock in a space where you feel is rightfully you as a rather you feel like um, it's too small to feed them you know you you're competing over limited resources limited opportunities these um, could bring friction between our two countries then the, the third reason could be the stereotypes and um, prejudices that some um, people from both countries do have you know, there is always some stereotypes that people carry with them and think that um, it's true. Like what people think of Africa, some people think like Africa is a jungle full of lions. Africa is not developed. So many attempts they perceive Africa according to the stereotypes they've had outside there. So let's listen in according to the stereotypes between these two current countries. Negative stereotypes and um, prejudices can fuel animosity. Haitians are often stereotyped by other Caribbean nations, including Jamaica, due to historical misconception and media portrayals. Conversely, Haitians may harbor their own stereotypes about Jamaicans. You know, probably um, people from Haiti have their own stereotypes according to what they think about Jamaican people, and reverse um, is also true to Haiti through Jamaicans and this could bring rage, animosity and a lot of these negative negative energy we all see online so it's high time that people do their research and get to know facts rather than talking ill of a country they rarely know nothing about you know if you want to go to Jamaica you want to go to Montego Bay and you hear people speak about Montego Bay negatively go and experience for your own self and get to know if it is true or false that way people can easily coexist amongst each other. Then there's this historical context. The historical context like the one that I just mentioned about um, the famous house which was um, 
taken over by the white lady from Haiti. So historical context of colonization and slavery has shaped the identities and social dynamics of both countries in different ways. These historical differences can sometimes lead to misunderstandings and lack of solidarity. Then the last point could be the national identity and pride. You know, you must have that pride as a patriotic um, citizen of a country. The national identity and pride. Both Jamaicans and Haitians have strong national identities and pride in their unique heritages. The pride can sometimes manifest defensiveness or competition when comparing cultures and achievements. You know, when people from Haiti come out and start saying, you know, we were the first black country to gain independence, you know, from colonizers. Then Jamaica come with their own point of view of their strong ones. You know, they could come and say they are very proud of what they do in the athletics. Haiti does not do the same. And um, it could bring um, some, some of these tension between these two countries. So to my Jamaican subscribers and my Haitian subscribers, this video is out here just to show you all love and um, get to learn about each other really well. Let us not um, depend on stereotypes. Um, let us not fuel rage from past events. Let us love each other. Let us now start building a relationship that would benefit both of our nations. It's highly it's it's also a high time that um, the Jamaican government and the Haitian government should also bring about strong diplomatic ties to make it easier for these two Caribbean countries to um, easily coexist. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching my video. I am Evans Raiola and um, I am so, so grateful for the love and support I am getting from the Caribbean countries. I do not take it for granted and um, I just want to show love to you all and say that i am so so grateful so guys see you all in my next video you can also join to be a member of my channel you can also support my channel through super thanks and i'll be so so grateful guys see you all in my next episode goodbye for now peace